closer to home, the Labor Day weekend is not disappointing as the unofficial end of summer as we are really starting to feel the heat this weekend. But now as we take a live look at DeKalb at the campus of NIU, starting to see that sunset. So we have a pretty warm night up ahead as we have temperatures in the 80s really across the area. 85 in Rockford, 81 in DeKalb and Sycamore looking like the cool spots right now. 84 in Winnebago, 85 in Dixon, 87 in both Sterling and Galena at the this hour, so really starting to feel that heat. We especially continue to feel that into this weekend, but for the later on this evening, we begin to cool things down. Still going to be in the 70s though by 9 or 10 o'clock, so a pretty warm evening up ahead. And we also keep this little bit of a breeze going. It will be gradually calming down though throughout the night, but still feeling a little breezy for the rest of our evening as we take a look here on Future Track. Wind gusts of around 20 to 25 miles per hour. We even saw some reports of wind gusts of 30 miles per hour in some parts of southern Wisconsin. These will continue for the next couple of hours gradually weakening but as you can see in Wisconsin that's where it's looking like those wind gusts will be stronger for the overnight hours gradually calming down slightly for the overnight but then into tomorrow especially in the afternoon we see those winds beginning to pick back up again as we see gusts here 20 25 maybe even up to 30 miles per hour so this is for Sunday afternoon again so still going to be feeling that little bit of comfort in the air as that breeze comes through we will be though gradually calming things down so really just making that uh, heat feel feel a little more bearable as we have that little bit of a breeze helping us cool off, but it does bring in an elevated fire danger as we have the low humidity in the air, those gusty winds and also the dry ground. I mean, we have not seen rain in some time over a week, maybe close to two weeks in our area. So that leads to favorable conditions that fires can get out of control very quickly. So if you are setting any bonfires or cooking fires this weekend tonight, and into tomorrow as well, that's going to be a concern. So make sure you're being careful, making sure you're keeping an eye on any fires you set. That does include tonight as we have a pretty warm night up ahead down to 63 degrees only for tonight. Going to be one of the warmer nights that we've had in the last few. Still having those uh, wind gusts out of the southwest gusting to 15 miles per hour and heading into tomorrow again. Those gusts to 25 as we warm up to 92 degrees for a high just a just a touch warmer from where we were today. Heat index not going to be much higher as we still have that low humidity. Humidity does hold off until Monday as we have a high of 93. Though a heat index closer to 100 looks like it's going to be the hottest feeling day of the week up ahead as we have that humidity creeping in into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. We introduced slight rain chances late Tuesday, but I think those rain chances hold until Wednesday when a cold front moves through, helping us cool things off. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, you see that we maybe see those temperatures holding those seasonable temperatures holding after that cold front moves through.